I mean, the, I, I'm not taking sides with anybody. I'm simply we're saying. We're not in this station always taking sides. Anyway, we've, no, no, we've, we've, we, we don't we've take sides. It. We know that. The one thing I did we say that if it's take sides. that you are going to intervene, I won't stay here. I told you, your staff. Mm. Yes, well, we're very glad that you came. But let me come to you, um, Mike and Badefan. Thank you for your patience. Um, you're a constitutional lawyer. Will the Supreme Court allow new evidence on this matter to be introduced? I understand there's a precedent to suggest that it has the power to do so. Well, um, <clears throat> in regards to that, the Supreme Court has right to accept or not to accept new evidence. There are precedents to accepting or not accepting new facts or new evidence. And three of such facts, one, the evidence sought to be tendered newly has to be something that initially originated from the lower court. Secondly, it must have basis and reason why you want to tender such evidence at that later stage. And finally, what do you intend to do with the evidence you sought to tender? Now, when it comes to the issue of new evidence, it is such a ridiculous thing and an attempt for whoever to incite the populace to begin to malign judges on issues they know nothing about. At what point did they discover forgery? Because same certificate has been tendered even when the president was a governor some 20 years ago. So where the issue of the CSU says that, oh, we didn't issue this certificate of uh, this, uh, the certificate tendered to INEC does not conform with what we issue. Question, what do they issue? Is it possible that same certificate issued for a degree, degree person will be the same certificate issued to a diploma holder? The answer is no. There are so many documents flying, media trials going red light and center. I'm not holding brief for anybody. If, if, not, if for anything, I will respect the senior advocate who is seated here before you. Now, <clears throat> when the CSU says we don't keep record of diploma, that says it all. It creates a very big lacuna. And again, forgery is a very serious allegation, which neither the CSU nor Atiku, nor even the president, can say yes or, or, not, or not. Reason being that it will not be subjected to investigation, mm. which lands within the purview of the Nigerian police, as the case may be, as it affects Nigeria, and the American police, as the case may be, as it affects America. Now, the issue in both ways is what will either party do with the results they find. Even if they find out today without so conceding that result, the, the document is forged, it's still a useless a, a, a matter to be talked about at the Supreme Court. Because even for the Supreme Court to do anything with the document, they have to consider that acid test of repugnancy. How does it mm. benefit the populace? Do you want, what do you want to achieve with the, the, the document you're tendering? It, it, it's such an embarrassing thing to me, if you ask me my mind, I think it's an inciting statement. Right. Well, let me ask you, um, senior advocate of Nigeria, you, you have a wealth of experience when it comes to legal issues in, in this country. Following on on what um, uh, Barrister Banefo was saying there, can an appellant introduce new evidence on appeal at the Supreme Court if that evidence can have material and fundamental relevance to the appeal? Well, let me first of all... I mean, just wearing your yeah, cap as a senior yeah. advocate let, let's without me, affiliation. First and foremost, thank my learned friend here. He captured mm. the video, the situation, except that he left one issue out. There are four hurdles for anybody, in ordinary cases, ordinary civil cases, mm. not in election petition, you understand. In any civil case, you have four orders to cross to prefer fresh evidence. It's not a tea party. It's something that is not done ordinarily. There are few precedents here and there that, but 
those ones, even those ones that were done, that were considered, it was assured that the appellants in those cases had no access to those documents, to the fresh evidence they want to. What have been, been, they been waiting for? They were at the petition tribunal. They had 21 days to file their petition. Nobody alluded to this throughout. And like you did say, what is the utility value? Just continue, like you said. What is the utility value to be, to be derived from this workers' expedition, so to say? So, but like I did say, we are waiting for them. But as, as of today, as I speak, there was nothing of that before the Supreme Court in what they have filed. Nothing of that. Not even the lie. They need help, please. What, what they stand to gain, I don't know. But we are waiting for them. And I will not sit down here and be putting on the table the antidote we have, to, we have at our disposal. We are mm -hmm. waiting for them. Well, you, you, you have to... Don't forget yeah. that the same TDP candidate made similar inquiries about pres uh, President Jonathan. People have forgotten this. And neither the University of Port Harcourt nor the part that be released the details of the PhD of Dr. I brought it to some of my the letter from the presidency and from the uh, University of Portugal is here in this today. I brought it. People, because people don't read. There's still so much to the social media. Mm. This thing happened not quite 10 years ago. It is not strange. Obama to block similar inquiries. And so was President Trump. See, it's not new. But what do you stand to gain? This question, to me, somebody was talking about uh, for embarrassment. Anything, our, our um, political terrain is full of, well, of course, we're in this country, anything goes. Because if not. Well, that's what worries people. <laughs> we're in the country, of anything goes. <laughs> if anything goes. But, but for me, I'm not embarrassed. Mm. And neither is any of our clients so embarrassed because we are prepared for them. We've watched them doing that before. They did it against President Wally, speaking about, uh, about uh, certificates. And the first schedule of the culture is very clear. You don't, need to even need, you don't even need a Swiss to become president of Nigeria. Mm. So what are they talking about? But